and that's how we can stretch to maximum of 300 meters of continuous gigabit length between these two extenders. Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Vast Cabling. So our client here owns these two buildings. Building A is the main office and building B is their warehouse. And the distance is about 300 meters away. But they want everything on one network and want to power IP cameras, SS points, and even VOIP phones in their warehouse. But they don't want to run fiber and they definitely don't want to add a PoE repeater every 100 meters. So the big question is, can we get a stable gigabit PoE link all the way across in one shot? So let's start with the problem. Standard Ethernet and PoE are only rated up to about 100 meters per segment. Beyond that, you run into voltage drop, signal loss, and at gigabit speed, the link starts to get really unstable. In our case, the warehouse will have multiple IP cameras streaming HD video, a couple of SS points, and some VoIP phones, and that's easily tens of megabit per second, and we want headroom. So a gigabit link gives us smooth video, low latency calls, and room to grow. So 100 meg just isn't enough. We want the full gigabit all the way to the warehouse. If you try to run a direct 300 meters of Ethernet cable from the PoE switch in building A directly to our IP cameras at building B, we plug it in, we can see the power's up, but the link light is in and out. That's the voltage drop and signal integrity biting us. 300 meters is pushing way past the limit. Fiber would solve this, but in this project, trenching wasn't allowed and the cost of fiber gear plus contractors was a no-go. So we needed another approach. So this is our answer, a gigabit 300 meters PoE extension kit. Inside the kit, you get two gigabit PoE extender. Now think of them a smart midpoint for both power and data. Each extender support IEEE 802.3AT and it can handle PoE plus power levels while passing gigabit traffic and they participate in the PoE handshake on each side. This extender handle classification correctly on both sides. They take in PoE, clean it up, and send out fresh PoE downstream. Same with the data. They will generate a gigabit signal so that by the time it reaches to the warehouse, it's still strong and stable. And that's how we can stretch to maximum of 300 meters of continuous gigabit length between these two extenders. Now let's look at our full setup. Now let's install it. In building A, we're using this WebSmart PoE switch. It's already connected to an NVR. Then I'm going to use a short patch cord, connect to one of the PoE port, and directly to our Gigabit PoE extender. Now normally, you'll plug the cable to the input port, but for our extension kits, we're going to do it differently we're going to plug it into the output port instead. Now, both our extenders are IP67 rated, which means dust tight and protected against immersion. And that's super important because we are mounting them outdoor between buildings. Then we are going to use the 300 meters ethernet cable to connect to the input port. So we have input facing input. Now the long outdoor run is where we need to be careful. At 300 meters, cable quality will make or break your performance. So you want Cat5 v or Cat6 UTP, solid copper conductors, not copper clay aluminum, because this chip's cable have higher resistance, which means more voltage drop and higher chance your PoE device will run out at the far end. And when you terminate the cable and fit it through our extender, make sure the rubber seal sits properly. Then you need to use a wrench to fasten the neck and the gland tightly. Because hand tight is usually not enough. You want them snug so the water cannot get in over time. 
Now let's do it. For faster insulation, I'm taking it out. Again, we have input facing input. So let's connect to the input port of our extender. Then using another short patch cord to connect from the output port directly to the WebSmart PoE switch in building B. Another short patch cord so we can power up our bullet camera and send the data 300 meters away. Now let's check out the video feed. I'm going to search for our bullet camera. Here it's already connected. So I'm going to wave my hand so you can see we're getting live video feed 300 meters away. So we've achieved one gigabit link between our buildings, no flapping, no weird drops. To prove it, we'll run a quick speed test. So here at building A, we already connected our WebSmart PoE switch to a server and everything else remained the same. We have our extension kit in the middle, 300 meters in between. And in building B, we have our laptop already connected to the other PoE switch. So now I am going to start our speed test. Let me hit start. Now you can see we're pushing close to the gigabit throughput. By the way, this extension kit is compatible with other brands' PoE switches too, as long as they support IEEE 802.380 and Gigabit, so you're not locked in a single vendor ecosystem. But the only catch is that this kit isn't designed for 10 or 100 only devices. Both ends should be Gigabit capable to get the performance and stability we're seeing here. So now I already swapped the switch to a Cisco 24 port PoE switch and this is the gigabit uplink port but since the uplink port is not a PoE port so we connected it to a PoE injector so we can send PoE to our extender here and we can see on the monitor we are getting live video feed however if I unplug the cable from the gigabit uplink port and plug into the 100 megabit per second PoE port, then we'll see the video would not work. Now you can see on the monitor, it cannot even detect our IP cameras. And lastly, a couple of closing tips if you're planning a similar 300 meter link. First, avoid daisy chaining extenders. A lot of people think more extenders mean more distance, but it doesn't work like that. Each extender has regeneration delay and one more single point of failure. And this kit is designed for up to 300 meters between its two units. So stick to that. Second, always think about surge protection on long outdoor run. We can put one surge protector near our main office and another near our warehouse. That way, give us an extra layer of protection against lightning and electrical surges that may ride along the cable. And third, make use of your managed PoE switch diagnostics and watchdog features to keep an eye on power and link health. This can automatically detect if our device stopped responding or if there's an under voltage condition. And they can restart the port for you, so it's a nice safety net when your PoE devices are 300 meters away in another building. So there you go, we've just built a 300 meters gigabit PoE network between two buildings. 
without fiber and without dropping a repeater every 100 meters. Now, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in our next one.